the result of overnight rains. These woodland residents woke up to their homes surrounded by floodwaters. We always under pressure here, always, always under pressure. Since midnight, between 25 and 100 millimeters of rainfall fell across Trinidad and Tobago, causing already saturated lands to flood. Chairman of the Penal Debe Regional Corporation said several areas were affected. In some cases, only trucks can go through. So it is bad in the woodland end, in the Penal end. The Barakpo, and I'm told, is spared except for around the Rochard Road area. Woodland resident Nizam Mohammed told CNC3 News he woke up just in time to rescue his pet. The river need dredging and the bank need raising. It's a perennial problem, he says, one that forced him to raise his dog's kennel far above the ground. But while Mohammed may be adjusting, other residents say the flooding is forcing them to reconsider living in woodland. Since 2017, um, we have been experiencing this sort of flooding. A resident of the community for just over 40 years, Ragu, says the floods have cost her thousands of dollars in losses, and she's traumatized every time the rain falls. They even considered trying to move. However, um, with the mortgage that I have, the existing mortgage, it is impossible for us to move. Nobody is going to buy this property. She's now resorted to flood-proofing her home, but the water always finds a way back into her property. They say cleaning water courses may help, but believe the issue might be a much bigger one, including unregulated construction, erosion, and climate change. Rhea Rambley, CNC3 News.